there will be the largest amount of wealth transfer between generations uh, in the next few decades that we've ever seen for any country. Um, I think coupled with that, we see a, um, an emerging value system uh, among the millennial generation that as they receive these funds, um, they are perhaps thinking about uh, the use of that and, and the use of um, and th their own charitable intent and their relationship with society and community and the impact that they're having in slightly different ways. So if you think about um, estimates anywhere 50 to 60 trillion dollars of wealth transfer, um, cash remains a small sliver of that um, and estimates are, I've seen numbers about six, 6.2 trillion will go to charitable causes. We can see the needle move there. I think we're seeing a shift in value systems um, among younger generations. There's a Deloitte study I like to, uh, to cite about the purpose of business and responses from millennials uh, from over 20 countries around the world. Millennials defined as someone born after 1982. Uh, the response was that the purpose of business is to improve society. And that number response came out ahead of profit. And so from that perspective, I think we'll start to see uh, uh, something of a shift. And then I think that uh, in terms of uh, the ability to come together in situations like this and think about um, what I like to call with clients uh, their, their personal impact capital. How are they um, using in either it can be a day-to-day -day, uh, situation or it can be a situation where they're thinking about the capital that they have that may go to a 501c3 charity or it may go to an investment that would be um, more along the lines of what we're calling impact investing. Or if you think about something like water and you say, um, gosh, well, Coca-Cola is a large user of water in emerging markets and frontier markets around the world. As a shareholder at Coca-Cola, 